Okay, so this is my 2015 Honda CRF 110. I bought this uh, in 2018 or 19 because um, I bought my kids a little CRF 50 and a PW 50 for them to for them to ride and learn on. And I thought this would be something fun for me to put around on. But since getting it, um, my kids are getting more comfortable on their bikes, so I want to be able to put around a little bit more quickly and have a little bit more fun on mine. So today, what I'm planning on doing is replacing the exhaust, um, the handlebars, and the intake. All right, let's see how she sounds. So hopefully we can fix that today. Okay, so the new pipe didn't come with a new exhaust gasket. So here's what it looks like with the new on. Um, let's hope that the new one doesn't have an exhaust leak as I, again, had to reuse that exhaust gasket. See how it sounds. First, let's go through what I've done. So I did a big bar kit by BBR. Um, and then I did a larger handle grip by BBR as well. It came with the new brake and throttle cable. And then I also did an 18 millimeter carb. It's hard to see under there. This stock comes with a 13. And then I've got this new intake that turns the filter backwards so that I can avoid what I was having earlier with the tire kicking up mud and water and crap and into the filter. And then what's really nice is the filter has this little shroud underneath it so if anything does get kicked up it protects the filter um and then other than that i did the fmf pipe okay here we go So it sounds much better and it's so much faster. I am amazed. It, it may just be, um, you know, the effect of, oh, it sounds fast, so it feels fast. But no, it it feels a lot faster now. Um, I'll go through some of the things that I like, some of the things I dislike. The biggest thing that I dislike is this 18 millimeter carb. Um, I got it from BBR. It, it adds a lot of power, but it also changes so much about um how things hook up from stock so from stock you can see right here this is the gas line coming into the carb stock it's on the other side of the carb so i'm having to stretch this gas line real hard to get it to there i might put an inline filter in to you know give me some more space but i didn't like that i had to switch sides um to get that done the choke it's hard to see but it's right here i had to remove the stock choke um, linkages to get that in but the the choke being right here it's almost impossible to actuate because it hits the hits the shroud right here the uh, the plastics of the bike so I don't like that I hardly ever use the choke but it's it that's how it is um, the drain the carb drain is on the opposite side of the bowl now so before there used to be a, a line that ran from here all the way down through this and then it would drain down. Well, now it's on the opposite side and the, the tube that comes with it isn't long enough to make it to here. So I may just grab another tube and redirect it to here, but I didn't like that. And then on the stock carb, easily accessible through this hole in the plastics was the, uh, the like idle screw adjuster and, and the uh, air fuel mixture adjuster on the carb. And it's not on this side of this carb. It's all the way on the other side. And now that I've got the BBR intake kit, which is the same company that I bought the carb from, the, it completely covers, I don't know if you can see it, the idle and air, air fuel mixture screws over there. So I have to take this intake off to access those. And really, I have to take off this plastic as well 
because it gets in the way. Yeah, so it's a really fun bike now. And I almost think I need to re-gear it because if you rip or whip the throttle in first gear, it wants to wheelie. So um, I think now I can re-gear it for a higher top speed. But yeah, it's a fun little bike now. Just the few things that I didn't like. Oh, and also the carb, I'll put up some pictures okay, after this, but the carb, the needle that goes up and down with the floats to shut off the, uh, the fuel uh, supply to the bowl, it's like the wrong size. So it just always leaks fuel by. So whenever I shut the bike off, I have to shut off the fuel too, which I guess is good practice on the on a carb. But you can see here on the garage floor, there's just a pile of gas here because I left it overnight, forgot to turn the gas off um, at the tank and it got all over the floor. So um, BBR, they're working with me. They're getting me a new carb to see if that fixes it. But it's a cheap um, like replica, Chinese replica of the stock carb that's just slightly bigger.